Good morning, welcome to Bad Food Blog, and I'm going to be making just roll croissants. Now, I don't know if you uh, see those, they are freshly baked in minutes. Mmm, it's kind of, I've done a few of these on the video on the channel before, and these ones are quite yummy. They've got all sort of winter symbols and Christmas stuff on because it's that time of the year. But, yep. Let's try and get this open. You open it by this tab here. And you should read the cooking instructions before you do this. Because you might destroy them. Let's go through them quickly. Roll them out, make them croissant shape, put them in the oven. We're baking them for 10 to 15 minutes. And the oven needs to be on... Ooh, what temperature does the oven need to be on? Huh. It's not saying, is it? Oh, 200 degrees centigrade, or 180 for a fan oven. So, 180 degrees on the fan oven. And it's a good idea to let them rest. So putting the oven on at the same time you're opening the can is a good idea, because they're going to cook better if they had a few minutes to rest. And yeah, you destroy the instructions by opening the can. And also, you tend to tear one of them. Uh, that happens to me frequently when I do these. They are really well done, but this outside one is very, 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 very thin. Uh, I need to find the place where they overlap. Here it is. Oh, no, that's not the place where they overlap. I'm having trouble finding the place to open it. Ah, just here. No, that's not it either. See, this is the one problem I have with it. There we go. Found it. Oh. There, got it. It is there, it's just it's not always easy to see. I have a little, little sniffly cold. Don't worry, I don't think I have the Rona. La -da 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 -da. La -da 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 -da. Right, this one here is going to need some care and attention. I'm going to need uh, a knife. So I don't want to be pulling them apart too much because they are basically at their correct density. You don't really need to do much to them. Now, which way to roll them? As you can see, I've torn the instructions in half. Uh, instructions obliteratus. Yeah, the rest of the instructions are um, somewhere here. You need to take a picture of it before you start. I need to roll them into croissant shapes, which I guess is a case of um, I can't remember which way around it goes. This is why you shouldn't do videos this early in the morning. I've got a feeling you start with the long end and you roll them from the fat end. That, that's it. Got it. Nice and tight at the beginning. Yeah, I've done this before. Yep. Try and get a point in the middle and then turn them into a crescent. They're never going to be perfect. There. Too early in the morning to be thinking about this. That hole there, pinch it, double it over, start rolling. It doesn't need to be too tight because it's going to expand and sort itself out. If you roll it too tight, they're not going to cook well and come out well. Yep. Doing this early in the morning, my brain's not 100% working. Couldn't remember how to roll a croissant. Teach me to be doing this at 6 o'clock in the morning, but yep. So, triangle end, roll, zip with one hand, all the way up. There you go, perfect croissant shape, curl it a little bit. Get this, roll, zip. 
zip all the way up. See, nice and easy. All right, two more to do, and these can go in the oven. Yep. Rolling it in. Yep. See, preparation time is really small. I think the shape has a lot to do with the flavour. This is one of those foods where, like a pan of chocolate or other foods, that not always do they have a lot to do with it, but this food seems to have a lot to do with it. The way that it cooks, the density, you get the little crispy ends on the ends of the uh, horns. It all works out kind of nicely. Okay, I'm going to use this pizza tray. And I'm just going to put some baked grease proof paper on it so they don't stick. Because they do have a habit of sticking. And not too close together because they're all going to expand. Oh, I'm going to face those around the other way. Give them a curl because they will curl naturally anyway. There. I managed to fit all six on here. The bit that's going to expand the most is the joints in the middle where they join up. There we go. Leaving enough space for them. Kind of a chaotic arrangement, I know. Okay, we'll come back when they're ready to go in the oven. And in they go to the oven. Yay! Oven the temperature. And now the time says 10 to 12 minutes, but the reality is you need to keep an eye on them because they could cook faster or they could cook slower. It's completely dependent on your oven. And don't go by the timer, always go by the way they look and smell. Were you looking for them to brown over? We haven't put a milk wash on them, so they're not going to go quite as crispy as you see them, but they are going to go pretty crispy and nice. And they're done! Here we go! Wow! Wow, look at that! Don't they look amazing? They look amazing, they will taste amazing, they just look amazing. The temptation is to jump in and start eating them right away, but that's not such a good idea because they're really, really hot and full of steam. And as you can see, the little things have pulled back and they've twisted themselves tight. Even though they were loose to begin with, they've twisted themselves tight and I should not be touching them, they're really hot. But as you can see, they look yummy and you can see where one was off the greaseproof paper there, it's stuck. The greaseproof paper really helps. They'll even stick to uh, non-stick surfaces. Um, I really advise greaseproof paper for doing pastries um, because of the high sugar content of the pastries, like croissants and everything else, they do stick to everything really easily, but greaseproof paper. Um, tin foil won't help you much here. Hey, it's paper. Once you finish cooking with it, put it in a recycling. Right, um, I'm going to go off and eat these. They are going to taste yummy. Um, I'm going to just try the corner of one. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Still very hot. Mmm. 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 Sweet and yummy. Mmm. Right. Thanks for watching. It's been Bad Food Blog. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit the like button. And definitely, definitely, definitely the subscribe button.